You should see a pop up. Oh, yep, I see it. It's cold here, but I grabbed ice cream. <laughs> Are you from the Northeast originally? Because that's a very Northeast thing to do. I know, it's a very Vermont thing, right? <laughs> yeah, um, in college I lived, hmm? all, in college um, I lived with all like upstate New Yorkers and Connecticutians, whatever, people from Connecticut, and they taught me the ways of midwinter ice cream. So then I would get really mad in Pennsylvania when I couldn't get like fresh ice cream you know, like a scoop of ice cream from a place in the middle of winter. I was like, excuse me, it's ice cream season year round. Come on. I think, anyway. Yep, yeah, I'm not from the east, but, um, or the northeast, but uh, I like ice cream. <laughs> ice cream is pretty much amazing. I don't know who invented it, but it's good. There's a place here that makes vegan gelato that is better than any regular gelato I've ever had. It's actually not that vegan though because it has honey in it. So it's only sort of vegan. Ooh, is that like Funfetti ice cream? Are you eating Funfetti ice cream? It's rainbow unicorn. <laughs> it's just like um, birthday cake. Birthday cake ice cream? <laughs> yeah, it was... Um, uh a i'm part of this group called buy nothing ballard they're mm -hmm. the network of buy nothing whatever <laughs> neighborhood name and um it's a facebook groups and there's one for my neighborhood and somebody bought this for their kid their kid didn't like it and was giving away for free so i went and picked it up <laughs> that's awesome Robin is it any good eating free food from from people i don't know But the Reedy and me, I mean, the forever graduate student or college student in me is like, fish free food. <laughs> I'm astonished, even now that I don't necessarily need the free food. Free food still. Free food tastes better than food you paid for, for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> it could be the worst pizza ever, but it's still better than whatever I bought. Mm. I'm definitely reverting though now that I'm back in graduate school. I was eating like real adult food there for a while and now I'm in grad school and I'm like, cheese its for breakfast? It doesn't sound very healthy. It's not. I survived on cheese its pickles and Diet Dr. Pepper in college. You have to have the pickles though because otherwise you really, there's like nothing nutritious about the rest of it. But the pickles, Get your vitamin C so you don't get scurvy. <laughs> Good. Um, okay, we have to do a city event, a road event. Mm -hmm. We've decided to um, go after some <clears throat> shrine of strength to do something or another to try to get more powerful. Uh yeah, we need to get more powerful so that we can keep that orchid guy from dying horribly. Yeah, I don't remember um, how we unlocked the Shiner Strength. It was unlocked by, we, we had the option to unlock it early on and didn't because we were too busy doing our like Jexera stuff. Um, we unlocked it at the end of Treacherous Divide, which was last week or whatever. There was Shrine of Strength and Nightmare Peak that both. So we abandoned climbing the mountain that we were climbing to go to the Shrine of Strength. Which then we're going to go back to the mountain. Yeah, then we have to climb the mountain again. OK, but we left like, you know, carabiners and stuff like that for us. <laughs> OK. Um, we went back to town. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, do we have to, I have to get the cards out? Probably, yes. Card number 31. For city event? Yep. Okay. 
I haven't I haven't sorted my cards yet. They're all still randomly shuffled. Okay, I've got it. <laughs> this is gonna be good. I can tell already. You find yourself incredibly drunk and gambling away your hard-earned gold at the brown door when a robed woman approaches you. Please, she says, you must help me. They've taken my only daughter. I beg you. She slides a parchment towards you. They left this behind. You look down to see nothing but the symbol of an upside down blackbird. The ravens, a man mutters, bad business. A bouncer approaches. Take that garbage outside. You're troubling the customers. So option A, do we leave with the woman to help her find her missing daughter? Or B, do we refuse to help the woman and go back to gambling our money away? I think we help the missing daughter woman, but we also point out that all you have to do is turn the thing around and it's, it's the right side up, Raven. <laughs> I noted that myself. <laughs> 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 just flip it over. It's fine. There, it's not the ravens. It's um, just the crow. Right. It, okay. So option A. <laughs> um, once outside, the woman hands you a large pouch of gold. My father saw the whole thing, but he went mad and ran towards the silent bridge. Please find him, and he'll help you find my daughter. So we gain twenty collective gold. So I guess ten each. Is that what that means? Okay. And we unlock Shadows Within. Hold on, this is like a whole bunch of stuff. And we got a party achievement. So we unlock Shadows Within, which is number 83. And we each get 10 gold. I'm not keeping track of your gold, I'm sorry. I'm That's only okay. keeping track of my gold. And we get the party achievement, bad business. Where is party achievement? I don't know what these party achievements really do for us, but I think we get to, to they, maybe there are other cards that are like, if you have this and something or another. <laughs> so I just peeked at, at B. Um, if we had tried to go back to gambling, you would have prevented us because we have a sun keeper. <laughs> so, so you would have been like, no, we have to go help that lady. And then we would have had to read A anyway. <laughs> You're so lawful good. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. One of these days okay. I need to update all, everything <laughs> on my app. Um, <laughs> Okay, and then road event. Road event, number eight. Number eight, okay. I feel, oh, th we've had this one before. Okay, you does see a lone man. Does the thing this, at the bottom say destroy or, or put back into the deck? Um, it said destroy if we did the one that I think we did last time. Oh, then it shouldn't Unless be. There. Yeah. I probably forgot to destroy it. Okay. Because we definitely did that one and we were too poor. It was the one with the thieves and we were like, sorry, we're poor. And they whacked us and ran away. Hmm. Okay. How about 11? All right. Let's try 11. Oh. I don't think we've done this one. You are headed through a mountainous region when the ground begins to shift and shake beneath you. Taken off guard, you fall to your knees. The tremors continue unabated and grow stronger. You hear rumbling as rocks begin to tumble down the mountainside. Do we A, try to find a clearing where we can avoid the falling rocks, or B, take cover under a nearby outcropping and wait out the earthquake? I feel like going under an outcropping is a bad idea and the mountain's going to fall on our heads. Yeah. So, having grown up in California, <clears throat> a big, huge clearing is, is is basically the safest place. That's what I figured because they tell you to, um, if you're in your house and it's a big one, because I grew up on the East Coast where there's not really earthquakes. And then I moved to here where there really are earthquakes. Not as bad as California, but we do still have them. Um, and they tell you to go outside if it gets bad. Yeah. Okay, so let's do option A. Oh, man. Um, 
we definitely picked the wrong one. Um, we race forward, scanning the area for an open space where the danger from rock slides will be less severe. After dodging some rocks and getting hit by others, you find a relatively safe area and wait for the chaos to subside. All start scenario with two damage. Okay. And I have to put it back in the deck. So we can totally get hit by an earthquake again. Okay. And we will forget which one we said. No, no, we'll remember it because that was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Scenario number 15. Okay. <clears throat> Don't we read it? Sure. Oh wait, we and we need our dungeon cards too. Or perk cards or whatever. Oh um, yeah, we gotta do that. I'll read this first. Um, nestled in a high valley deep in the Copperneck Mountains, this shrine is not easily found or accessible, but luckily you know the way. The shrine lies on the, lies on the edge of a giant frozen lake surrounded by ancient towering trees. Adorning the structure's stone face are innumerable symbols of power and strength, but you cannot determine whether the shrine was dedicated to some specific entity or simply to the general concept of strength. You enter through the large stone doors, hoping to find something within that increases your own power. As you walk along the entryway, you see a number of runic inscriptions carved into the walls. They are hard to make out, but you believe they profess an ideology of strength begets strength. In order to increase one's own strength, one must first demonstrate strength. You open the next set of doors and come face to face with the ideology and practice. A powerful savas materializes in front of you and wordlessly begins to channel a destructive force in your direction. You will need to prove yourself to get at whatever it is in this temple. We're gonna die. <laughs> So special rules are a bunch of pressure plates and stuff. We have to step on pressure plates. Oh, we have to split up, huh? Yeah, one of us has to step on a pressure plate at the end of each of the T's. Yeah, okay. I'm sort of thinking that if we used my summons correctly, then the summons can distract everything while we run around and do stuff. Okay. That's my goal. Oh, we gotta do the, yeah. these guys. Maybe I will actually get a check mark this time. There you go. Okay. I like this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the one I got, one of the ones I got. Every time I get it, I choose it because it's so easy. I never get easy ones, like ever. Don't look. Okay. Easy. Okay. Okay, I'm going to choose this one. Don't look. Okay. Which space are you starting in? Um, how about right in the middle? I'm just gonna charge in. Okie dokie. Wow. And I guess I'll just go next to you on the on your right. 
looking like I'm shoving you. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> did you just do the same thing I did, which was to shove you with me? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Children. <laughs> Okay, this guy has 12 hit points, piercing, and shield. Yep. And range. He is bad. Yeah. Range five, Jesus. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. One shield, but still. I can get in, I can get right up in his face, right? Immediately. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I have a move five card somewhere, I think. So do I actually. I should probably have picked the other one. <laughs> ah. I have 56. I have 92. 92, geez. Well, what do you want me to do? I have to wait to summon because otherwise they die right away. That's true. But he's going to go before us probably. Ooh, I go before him. Ah, excellent. This will work out perfectly. <clears throat> okay. Using my winged shoes so that I can hop over this barrier and move five. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Then I am attacking him for two and stun. And I guess I should shuffle these. Plus one. So three oh. and seven. Beat. Two, actually, and stun, because he has a shield of one. Right. Stun. OK, so now it's his turn, but he's stunned. Woohoo. So now it's your turn. All right, I am also going to move five. One, two, three, four, five, and that makes a wind. And then I am summoning my two shadow wolves. Oh, summoning one in front of me and one behind me because that was foolish. Hmm. This uh, app isn't letting me drag it down so I can do the wind symbol. Weird. And right there. And that is my turn. But hold on half a second. I think my dogs just opened the gate and left. So let me be, let me go check really fast because I'm by myself right now. Okay. If I have to chase down my dogs. False alarm, but they totally knew they were in trouble.
They're still here. But they're wet because it's raining. Yeah. Do you want to come sit with me? No? Okay. Yes, he does. <laughs> oh, I do not need your help. He's gotten bigger. Did you see him when he was little? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> he's just over a year old now, so he is a big dog now. Right. <clears throat> What's his name? Oh, you, his name is Banner, as in okay. Bruce Banner. He's off again. He was basically just using me to look out the window. <laughs> <laughs> that jerk. <laughs> okay, this guy has 10 hit points. Um... Uh, and a shield. Oh, I forgot to give myself um, uh, experience. These guys have pierce, though. My wolves have pierce. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. So I'm trying to go before them, or trying to go before him, which I can do, I think. Yes, I can. Well, I'm pretty sure I can. I don't know how fast he is. I have, uh, hmm. I don't know if this is a good idea. Ooh, this is a good idea. Uh, this one. Okay. Um, I have 32. I have 25. Oops. Yes, 47. All right, you first. Okay. So first, my first shadow wolf goes up next to him and tries to hit him for two. Which, uh, which spice? Uh, to, like, up against the door. Okay. Um, plus one, so hits him for three. He's not stunned anymore. Um, and then my other shadow wolf goes one, two, three in that other spot right next to him and tries to hit for two. And they have, they have pierce of two, so they go through his shield, just FYI. Um, oh, and he wounds, wounds him and then also hits him for two. So he's now down to five and wounded. Yep. And then I am shooting him for three and using the wind to actually, yeah, to shoot him for three. And I guess I could push him, but I don't see a reason to push him. So I'm not going to push him. I'm just going to shoot him for three. Plus two is five. He is now dead. Oh, wait, no, I don't have Pierce. He's not dead. He has one hit point. There's one hit point. He will die next turn because he has wound. He will, but I'm also going to have my two summon allies within range two perform an attack. Wait a second. And wait, no, that was wrong. Um, so my two summon allies both attack him again. So the first guy attacks for two minus one, so one. So now he's legitimately dead. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I got excited. I could use my wind finally. I've been trying to use that wind thing for the last three games, and we were always in dungeons that were like anything but fire or anything but dark. It goes away. Mm. Okay, well, okay. it's your turn. 
<laughs> um, I'm going to move. If I move and open the door, it's just going to make people appear. Mm -hmm. Three people. How many cards do you have in your um, discard right now? Four, right? I have three. Three. Okay. The well, one just hangs out. I'm going to move two here. And then you get two of them back. Oh, cool. Thank you. Which one should I get back, bud? I guess these two. Leave that one there. No? <laughs> Why? No, you cannot have the cards. No, don't have the cards. <laughs> no, stop. Okay, goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You are even less helpful than my usual strategy. Oh, he's coming back up. Don't come back up. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Nope. <laughs> Do? It's my turn. Okay. <laughs> uh, so the one problem is, is that my wolves cannot open the door. So they're just going to sit there until there's a I need to go before so you do Yes. Yes. Which is not hard. Hold on, I'll find something really high. I guess I should have a move card since we're about to walk through. Okay. Um, I'm going to play this and then we're going to have to talk about a rule because <laughs> <laughs> it might be crazy if it does what I think it does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I have uh, 18. I have 55. Okay, uh, I'm gonna bless all adjacent allies. Does that mean you get three bless cards? Um, I mean, if we have been considering, ooh, if we've been considering my summons to be your allies this whole time, which we have. We, have. we have. And I think we did check it and they are. Yeah. So then I think that means I put three blessed cards into my shared deck. I think so too, which is why that's, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm All right. Do, uh, one, two, how far can your wolves move? They have move of three. And then I can help them along too. Okay, I'm gonna stand in the doorway then. Um, yep, and that brings us to Frost Guys. Two regular frost guys and and another savas. But this is only a regular savas. So hopefully that will be less terrible. What, dude? 
gosh, you're so helpful. You are the most helpful pup in the world. Okay, the sawbus is going to go before you do. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay, he's shielding up for four. <laughs> Healing something, but nothing is hurt. And then doing nothing else. Okay, so he's got extra shield, so I shouldn't try to hit him right now. He's got shield four. Yeah, this guy in back. Um, now it's your turn. Can I add shield to him? No. Okay, yeah, now it's my turn. Figure out how to do it. Yeah, I can't figure out how to do it either. All right. So my first wolf guy goes one, two, I guess, so that he's in between both of the ice dudes. And then I guess for argument's sake, he tries to hit. You know what? He tries to hit the one on his left for two. I lost track of which wolf is which. <laughs> okay, the one that was in front, more in front, went and went in between the two of them. Okay. And he hit and bless. So he hit for four. Four to the guy. What? To the guy farther away from us, right? Yes, oh, to the guy on the left. Okay. And then my other wolf guy goes one, two, three, next to that same dude, and tries to hit for two. Plus one is three, so that guy is dead. I think I have it mixed up who's, where's who. <laughs> Wait, your so other, other guy? The other wolf went to the other side of that same guy I had just hit, and then whacked him for three, and killed him. Okay, but before that second wolf, killed him, um, this guy gets a retaliate one. Oh, he does? Okay. Alex. One point. Okay, that's fine. Which one is that? That's the one. That's fine. It's still okay. Um, and then it's my turn. You guys are totally rocking it. <laughs> um, and I'm going to move... One, two, onto this loot. Never get loot. Oh wait, I just assumed that he like walked through that door. So I'm assuming that like both doors opened. Well, if you had this wolf go over here and then this wolf go over there, that would have worked fine too. Okay, sure. Either way. I thought you did. <laughs> wait, you just said you moved two to walk onto the loot? The loot that's right behind you. Yeah, but that's three away from you on my thing. Whatever, I did three. It's a move four, so I'm still good. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Here. And then, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them marching to go make this Sava sad. So two summoned allies within range to perform a move with you controlling the actions. So the one that's way, that's the furthest over goes one, two, three. Cause that guy already went, right? Yeah. Can my summon stand on the, on the thing or do we not want him to stand on the thing? Yet. I think you Is should go. It's like, I think it's fine because I think we're handling these guys pretty quickly. Okay. So I'm going to have him go one, two, and stand on the thing, which opens both of these doors on the sides. Which means I got to spawn some more bad guys. Yep. It'll be fine. <laughs> 
Famous last words. Oh, there's only one bad guy on either side. It's an elite, but two and four. They're pretty far away. Oh, they have retaliate and 12 hit points each. Yuck. But whatever. We just got to go in and, and get the treasure, so you can just run around all these guys, right? You know what's weird is that I wonder if the the app is no longer appearing like it's getting cut off in my phone. So I have to keep weird. rotating. Oops. Yes. Okay, so those guys do have to move, though. Um, oh. Ah! A pea attack by a bear. <laughs> they're not moving. They're just healing themselves. Okay. And then... No! Pieces! The frost demon is moving two and attacking three. So he doesn't have frost demon is not moving, it's just attacking this guy. Okay. Go away. What did he draw? Okay. On this guy. Okay. I think he's dead. He is, he's dead. Does that make the doors That's fine? Hmm? Does that make the doors close, or do they, are they staying I open? I think they stay open, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to do it if we had to have a summon. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. only two of us. Okay, next round. Are we making a run for it? Or are we actually gonna hit some guys? Well, if we just wait here, they're gonna converge on us and we'll be and strong then, together, probably. And then we run? I guess so. And then it'll be clear and we just run for it. Cause we gotta get, one of us has to get all the way to here that you can't see, and one of us has to get all the way to here. And then right, one and then of we us... get back here, right? Yeah. We have to loot this chest, is that the goal? Mm -hmm. okay. um. So maybe wait one turn to get them further down the corridor so that we can just run? I don't know, I mean, what, what, uh, what can your summonses do? Well, the current summon just is Pierce. Um, but then I've got, I've also got that, actually it's in my discard right now, I've got that shooter one that pretty much holds still and shoots things, but is super squishy, like one point of damage will kill it. And then I also have a shielded slime spirit that I can, that will like hold attention at least. That's what we usually use that one for is like holding attention so that we can run around. Mm -hmm. But there are still two golems in the last room. So I was sort of saving it, him for that one so that yeah. we can just run around the golems. Well, I'm not going to be running very far this turn. So I, I just don't have the cards for it, I don't think. Okay. So I should wait one turn, maybe? Instead of taking off? Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> I just run away. <laughs> Zoom down the hallway. I have 57. I have 25. Okay. 
the Savas ice storm goes first. He has a move to attack one, range three, shield plus one, affect self and all allies within range two. If there's a, oh, and creates a frost thing. So he's going to move to get out of range. I mean, uh, to not be at disadvantage, right? Mm -hmm. So like, I guess went over here. Okay. Then he's going to shoot your doggo. For one, minus one for zero. Sweet. And then he's gonna apply a shield to himself and anyone, any of his friends within range two, which is no one. No one, yeah. That was kind of a waste of his turn. Yeah, unless you, th unless we think that he would have, he would have deliberately moved to be within range of this guy so that he could apply the shield on. I don't think. He, I don't think that's how the monsters work. Yeah. Okay. I think he's done. It's your turn. Okay. My wolf guy continues to chase him into the corner um, and then tries to hit him for two. And he has pierce of two, so he can go through the double shield. Um, plus zero. So it hits him for two. And two. And then. I am attacking the frost guy for two and creating a fire sign. Um, so I attacked him for two plus two is four. So I attack him for four, two, three, four. And I'm not within range to retaliate. And then I'm going to attack him again for two at range three. And minus one, so one point of damage. Oops, so he's down to one. Yeah. Oh, and then I'm going to use my stamina potion because I'm starting to get a little bit low. Now I'm going to pull some stuff back out of here. OK. Um, the infestors are going to move three and then attack, but no one's in range of them. So they're moving three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think I'm doing this backwards. Okay, I got it. Okay, and then I am um, gonna move two onto this loop. And then attack this guy for four. Uh, plus one, he's dead. Dead. He doesn't get to retaliate because he's dead. So very dead. Next round. Woo. This is going fast. We might be getting better. <laughs> Should I try to zoom down the hallway now? I think so, although now these guys are in our way. <laughs> eh, it'll work. Woo. Throwing things. I, I, go down, I go down the left one, you go down the right one. Yep, that makes sense. Oh, there it is. Okay, I've got 29. I have 92. All right, these guys move to attack one, heal, heal themselves. Move one, two, one, two. Oh, wait, this guy would go one, two, because he'll be next to the dog. So he is attacking. He is attacking the wolf um, for two points of damage. Okay, where are you, wolf? Okay, 
And then it's my turn. Um, I'm going to move three, one, two, three here. Okay. Attack this guy for four. Okay. Plus one, five points. That one's number three. But he retaliates, right? Does he retaliate? Oh, he does. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, so he hits me for two. Sad. It is sad. Uh, now it's your turn. Okay. Um, first, my wolf guy uh, hits the Savas again, tries for two, and whips. So useless dog. Um, and then I move five. One, two, three, four, five, all the way into the doorway. And then I summon a slime spirit um, right behind me to distract things. Um, so One, two, three, four, one, two, three. He has like no hit, but he muddles and he has a shield. So he's like my tank. Yeah. And that is my turn. Okay. Um, the Savas summons a wind demon. A wind demon? Where does it go? Like next to my wolf as well? I guess so, yeah. Ah. I'm gonna have to do, I, I think what I'm gonna do is a long rest at the end of this next turn. I have to do a so short that, rest. Yeah. Okay, I, I can still go one more turn, but then I'm gonna do a long rest so that I can decide which card to get rid of because I have to do it things that way. Yeah, I can't do a long rest because this guy's just going to whack me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes sense. But you could because you have friendlies that they're going to target instead of you. I still have two cards. So I'm going to play these two cards and like run down the hallway and then do my long rest. OK. You know what? I have us reversed. I was moving me as you. That's why I thought it was two. Mm. <laughs> there you go. See how I did that? Okay, I guess I am done. I'm ready. Uh, I have 23. I have 13. Okay, you first. Okay, so first my wolf tries to hit this boss again for two and I forgot to shuffle this. So hold on, let me shuffle and then we'll find out whether he hits or not. Okay, so he tries to hit the Savas for two, plus one, he hits the Savas for three. Um, and then my Slime Spirit is going to hit the 
harrower thingy. What is it called again? Harrower infester for one and muddle. Ooh, wounded, muddled, uh, one, wounded and muddled. And that's, yeah. So only one, but he's wounded and muddled now. Okay. Which means he loses one at the beginning of every turn, right? Yeah, so he's gonna lose one right now. Sweet, but I'm not done yet. And then I'm going one, two, three, four, five down the hallway and attacking the air because I have nothing else to do now that I'm down the hallway. Why didn't you, oh, you didn't want to retaliate. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Doing that in the opposite order. Never mind. Okay, so then I'm going to make my slime guy because I was right here, right? In the yeah. doorway. So my slime guy is going to move and attack again with me controlling the actions. Um, so he's going to try attacking that guy again. Um, moving the slime guy one towards the middle of the room. I can do that. Why does he need to do that? So that this guy starts going after the slime guy instead of me. Oh, good call. Okay, so the slime guy moves up one. And he tries to hit for one. And muddle again, doesn't matter. So he hits for two. One, two. And the guy's still muddled. And then I run down the hallway. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. The guy, so the guy you hit, I for, we forgot this. Wait, the slime has uh, two armor, right? Mm -hmm. He has two shield. So the retaliate does nothing to him. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you remove five down here. Yep. Okay, the harrowers attack. God damn it, they haven't mobilized this turn. Um, no. This guy attacks me, draws plus one, so it hits me for five and immobilizes me. That's not good. Hmm. Yeah, that sucks. Oops, did I kill you somehow? What should I just do? I am immobilized. And he now has retaliate four. Ooh. Um, and the other guy takes a wound mm -hmm. and then attacks, um, do you think he would attack the, the wolf or the slime? We want him to attack the slime because the slime has two, two shield, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, attacks the slime, gets a plus zero, so four minus two, two points to the slime. Okay. I might have to use my robe next. And your slime is now immobilized as well. Man, that's fine. Oh, wait. He doesn't really. He forgot to draw two cards. Yeah, he's muddled. The other one was plus two, so we'll stick with the plus zero. <laughs> that's okay. I can heal him from down the hallway. Um. Okay. Do I attack or not? Because if I attack, I'm going to get a retaliate four. Given that you only have eight health, I don't know if I would attack. I have seven on my thing. Okay. okay. Somehow I missed one. But I could do, I, I might be able to kill him. In one hit? It depends if I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have goggles or anything to give you advantage? No, I don't. Oh, no. <laughs> It'll be good. I also have a healing potion. I can heal myself. For, actually, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to heal myself for five points. OK, that helps. Now I'm at 12. And now I'm going to whack him. Attack of. I guess I'll use this one. Attack four. Okay. Um, I cause the sun thing to appear. And hopefully I don't whiff. It's plus zero. So we both take four damage. And 
And then the other one, the other card does me nothing because I'm immobilized. Okay. Okay. The wind demon push one, target all adjacent enemies. So the wind demon pushes this uh, wolf, I think, onto this pressure plate. Yep. And then attack two, range three. Attacks the slime? We get to decide. Um, at, <laughs> at this point, wait, is it attack? It's just attack two? Yeah. Okay, his shield could hopefully manage that. Yeah, so he draws a plus zero, so attack, so it doesn't do any damage. Do any damage. That's good. Okay, now the Savas Ice Storm also does a push against all adjacent enemies. It pushes the slime too, I guess here. But the, he's not adjacent. Oh, wait, you're right. I was thinking of this guy. All right, so he doesn't do anything. He attacks, I guess, the slime. No, because he's got pierced. Oh, you're right, he does. So who do, who do we want him to attack? The, the wolf, because uh, the wolf is now down to one health anyway. And, okay. and so he's not long for this world. He gets a negative one, so attack two points on the wolf. The wolf is dead. Dead wolf. Bye bye wolf. Okay, now it's the next round. Okay. I have 99. Oh yeah, you're doing your long rest. I am yep. no longer immobilized. I'm gonna book it. Your slime is now three away from that guy. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, I have 18. You have 90. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> These guys be fast. Uh, the Wind Demon has a tackle one, range three. Uh, attacks your slime, I believe. Draws a plus one, does two damage, minus two, so it hits your slime for nothing. Um, heals himself, but he's not damaged. Ooh, is there a win thing? Nope. No. No, there isn't. Um, the Ice Storm does an attack to range four. I guess the slime. Except he's got pierced, so that's gonna stink. I'm about to lose my slime. Uh, one point of damage to the slime. One damage? Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. And He's down to one now, but still. I am uh, attacking this dude for five, plus I have advantage. Okay. And I'm using the sun symbol. Maybe you're a whiff. Or a minus one, so it's a minus one, so that's four damage. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Dead. And then I am moving um, three spaces. One, two, three.
Okay. Um, now the harrower moves to attack two. So it's just attacking your slime um, for two. It's a plus zero, so it does nothing to the slime. Oof. Oh, it took a point of damage. He took a point of damage? Yeah, because the harrower has a wound. Oh, right, he does. And now, um, next round. Wow, your long rest <laughs> was totally fine. Oh, wait, your slime gets. No. Your slime gets. My slime gets. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, your slime gets to go. No, okay. Oh. The slime is going to try to hit the harrower and remuddle him. Uh, so hit for one and remuddle. Oh, he hit for zero, but he remuddled him. So was he the muddled muddled before? He was muddled, but it only lasts one turn, I think. Okay. Okay. Do I get to use my robe even though I'm long resting or no? I think you get to do nothing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It, it constitutes the player's entire turn for the round. So, yeah, I don't get to use it. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so now it's the next round, right? Yep. Okay. Well, how much did you do to the armor? What? What did you do to the harrower besides model? He just got muddled because I had a minus one. Okay. Can you get onto the thing this turn? Mm, no, I cannot. All right, well, I'm just gonna go sit on it because there's no reason not to. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, we have to walk through these traps. <laughs> or jump over them. Poison and damage? Yikes. Um, I don't think I'm going to move at all. I think I'm going to, um, oh, wait, that's fine. I can heal myself, I guess. Yeah, this is okay. All right, I have 55. I have 25. Okay, the wind demon has flight uh, moving three. Doesn't need to move. Attack two, range three, pull one. Now shoot the slime at two times. Four points, minus two for the shield. Two points of damage to the slime. He's dead. Poor slime. So now these guys are free to run away. Yeah. Um, it's your turn, though. Okay. I am running around the corner. One jump. I'm sitting on this pressure plate over here. And then I am. Oh, and it's the wind happening. demon has the wind, uh, wind token to appear, you know. Okay. Well, I'm not in range of anybody, so that doesn't help me. I'm attacking the air. End of my turn. Okay. The harrowers are going to move, or the one harrower, I guess, is going to move two. Uh, towards me, because I have lower initiative. I'm closer. Yeah, but doesn't it doesn't it depend on initiative? I thought it was closer, and then initiative. No, no it's initiative first, and then closeness. Where is it? 
Where are you, Monster Movement? Hold on, it's under. Or it's a like monster will focus. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, you're right. It is movement, and then, and then initiative. Dudes, get out. Now there's a dog fight happening under the table. Well, he only only moves two. One, two. <laughs> okay. I could have sworn that it was. Where did I read about the initiative then? I'm not finding the thing about initiative. Oh, okay. Never mind. I found it. Okay, yeah. He moves to towards you, one, two, and that's it. All right, you guys need to go. I'm kicking you out. Sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye. No. Goodbye. Okay. Chaos averted. Okay. So you move to. And I am um, I am moving four onto this trap, which gives me poison and damage. How much damage is it? Three. Three. Okay, so I take damage. I'm poisoned, but I'm no longer poisoned to heal myself. Um, and I cause a sun symbol to appear. Okay. And the Savas um, summons a frost demon. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think towards me here. He can't, he has to summon it next to him, adjacent. Oh, you're right. I keep getting, I thought that was him. He summons it right there. Okay. And now it's the next round. We should see him maybe because he's summoning guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you get onto the thingy this turn? Yes. So I should probably try to go later in the turn. Actually, it doesn't really matter. I feel like I should just do a long rest, except it doesn't really do anything. But well, I'll get to pick which you need the card for the long, long rest. Yeah, the my issue is just that like I don't have anything to do because we're supposed to be. Isn't it at the end? We have to sit on them at the end of our turns. I think so. Yeah, at the end of our, at the end of our turns. Wait, at the end of a turn? No. At the end of either my turn or your turn, we both have to be on the plates. So. Well, I can go before you. Right? Is that what that means? Or is it, yeah. is it, is it turn after everyone goes? Oh, 
Yeah, if you go before me, then it counts because it'll be at the end of your turn. We'll both be on them. That makes sense. Okay, so I need to go before you. Yeah, might as well use that. Um, all right, I have 23. I have, I guess I have 92. It's terrible. The Harrower is going to attack nothing and heal himself four points. That's stinky. One wound. So yeah, he only healed himself three points because he took a wound. But he's no longer muddled. Is he no longer wounded too? I think when you heal yourself, it gets rid of wound. Oh, yeah, you're right. So he's at 10 hit points with no wound. The wind okay. demon uh, is going to attack no one and also heal himself. He's not hurt. The frost demon is going to immobilize everyone within range two. That's no one. And heal himself. <laughs> Using up that wind token. I am going to move one space. Yeah. So now these doors open. Wait, which one? Yeah, yeah. Um, move one space. And then shield up for an experience point. <laughs> Only last one. Um, these doors open. Wait, we don't have to kill everyone, right? We just have to loot the chest. Is that correct? All we have to do, one of us has to be sitting on the chest and not dead at the end of a turn. We can do that. We're, we're going to do this mad dash. <laughs> um, yes. Okay, he opens two of them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, they're both elite. <laughs> Really stone golems. The party just got real. Yeah, because they can like block us now unless we can jump over them. So I hope you have some jumps. I will if I do a long rest. <laughs> okay. Um the Savas is going to disarm, attack, and then cause a wind thing. Wait, does the wind thing appear even if he's not attacking? It does, right? Yeah, I think so. OK. The stone golems attack five, range three, and they both suffer two damage. Does he move? He should, he should move. Who should move? Oh yeah, you're right. He should move. Um, we're equal distant, right? No, you're closer. I'm closer to him, yeah. Door. Great, in the doorway. Yeah, and now it's the next round. No, it's not the next round. I still haven't gone. What? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you were yeah. off the uh, off the screen. <laughs> Okay, so I go, oh wait, shoot, I planned this wrong. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna step in the trap and get poisoned. I'm terrible at this. And take three points of damage. Bleh, I forgot that I hadn't disarmed it, that I hadn't already, that I needed to jump over it. Okay, and then I move four more, one, two, three, four. And then I attack the air because 
I don't have anything else to do. Yeah, that's a thing. Um. I'm going to do a short rest right now, actually, before this next turn. Okay. Okay, short rest done. All right. I have 32. I have 25. All right, the Harrower, attack one, range three, one, two, three, no, he's here. Attack one, range three, no one's in range. Heal four, he feels himself back up to his, to full health. This is why we need to just like run and jump in. The run and jump in. basically are stationary. Okay. And it's your turn. Okay. I am recovering up to four of my lost cards dun, 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 in my hand. Um, that goes in lost card pile. Um, and I am now attacking him for two. Actually, attacking him for three and pushing him for two and using up the wind. So attack three, push two. Attack four, push two. How much shield does he have? He doesn't have shield. No, he doesn't. Okay, so four, one, two, three, four, and I push him back into the room. And How many? I get... Just one space? You know what? I'm going to push him the full two spaces all the way over here so that maybe I can just zoom around him. Which direction? Uh, towards... Uh, towards the first room. Yes, yes, right there. And I get an experience point. And that is my turn. Man, I wish I had an AOE. <laughs> um, Seriously, I don't I, have an AOE either. Oh, my, I have my living mom. She's an AOE. Uh, I am moving two spaces and attacking the air, and that's my turn. Really lame. That's okay. And then the, let's see, the wind demon. Push one, target all adjacent enemies. No one's adjacent to them. Attack range three. No one's in range. The frost demon, move one space towards you. Attack two, pierce three, or nine range. Um, there are no symbols currently active, so he does not get to use that thingy. That's good. Now, Savas pushes adjacent enemies. There's no one adjacent. Attack three, range five. Oh, wait, one. He attacks you. And I'm poisoned, so it's attack four. Plus zero. So four damage. That's sad. How That's much? Sad. I have five. So that might change. Oh. Dang it. Next round. Uh, my heal. I don't have my heal in my hand anymore. Mm. Um, this next round, I am doing a long rest. Okay. I am not, but I am gonna... I am gonna do 94. Oh, you're doing 99? Yep. 94, yowza. Because I need to summon something.
Okay, the Harrower uh, Shield 2, Retaliate 2, Range 3. What does that Range 3 mean? That, that his Retaliate has range. Oh, okay. So if I hit him, which I'm not going to. Yeah, but otherwise he doesn't do anything. The Wind Demon moves 3. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Moves towards you. One, two, three. Into the door. Okay. Attack one, range three. So attack two, range three. Gets a plus zero. Okay. I'm going to take it. Wait, is it attack... One, yeah. So attack two, I said. Yep. Okay. The frost demon attacks, uh, moves one, but it doesn't nowhere brings him closer to you anyway, so it doesn't move. He attacks the air, and then um, causes an ice token to appear. Okay. The stone demon or golem. They both move one space, I guess, like that. Okay. Um, and now it's your turn. Okay. Can I jump over both of those guys? I think so. What's your okay. what's, the, what's the movement card? It's a move of five with jump. Yeah, all five. I think all five spaces count as jump. Okay. Oof, this is going to get a little crazy, potentially. All right, so I'm moving five and jumping one, two, three, four, five into this corner. And then I am summoning a living bomb <laughs> right in the middle of these guys. So you and he is a, let's see. He has only one hit point, so they're going to blow him up. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. Whew. I thought for a second he might bomb me too, but he doesn't. It just targets all enemies within range. Not, <laughs> not, I was like, this is maybe a bad idea. Suicide run. Okay, so my living bomb is now right in the middle of all these guys. Yep. Um, and that is my turn. I'm going to have to do crazy discard things if somebody hits me in this next turn. So I'm going to need to like run away quickly, I guess. Okay. The Savas uh, summons a wind demon. Again? Dude. I guess on the trap right next to the living bomb. Okay. That's a pressure plate, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, the pressure plate right next to the living bomb. Then it's my turn. Yep. So I'm doing the long rest. I get this back. And now it's the next round. How are you doing on cards? I have five in my hand right now and two in my discard, so I'm okay for right now. I actually. Can I jump over these guys? I do have a jump over. As long as I don't die this round, this is the round we win. Oh, awesome. Doesn't matter what I ditch then. Um, I'm gonna, there's a chance though that I'm about to like die horribly, so. <laughs> okay, I will lose that card, play these two cards. <laughs> I'm hoping that everybody just targets the bomb. That's what I'm hoping. I have uh, 23. I have 51. 23, 51? Yeah, and that was the best I could do. Okay. The Sabas <laughs> goes first. He's going to attack to range four. If there's frost, which there is, it's going to be a plus two attack and immobilize. 
Oh, well, then we might not win this turn. <laughs> the, the attack to range four is this guy. But he, yeah, attacked he, her. he attacks him, though, right? Yeah, but it's ranged, so he has but to he back up. He can't move. Oh, never mind then. So he doesn't he's attack. He's attacking the living bomb for four, but at disadvantage. Okay, but is but wouldn't he just attack me because I'm further away? Would he? I guess it's whoever's closer, and then. Yeah. I feel like this is one of the ones that they talk about in the monster movement. Yeah, it targets the enemy figure. It can perform its current attack against using the least amount of movement. Oh wait, that doesn't mean. That just means, oh, well, he can't move anyway. So, yeah, then he, I guess he would just go, f he would just do disadvantage. That's what I think. Monsters will always attack their focused enemies. I think he's attacking the living bomb instead of you. Even though he has damage? I think so. Okay. Cause you're in terms of the range, you're equally you're both within range. And then in terms mm -hmm. of focus. Technically, your living bomb has a uh, lower initiative than you do. And he's closer. Yeah. OK. I buy it. Even though he's at disadvantage. Yeah. Anyways, he draws a minus one and a plus zero, so minus one. So three points on the living bomb plus immobilized. Hold on half a second. I just saw a thing about disadvantage. Okay, yeah. So when forced to choose, a monster will prioritize losing disadvantage on its focus enemy over maximizing its attack on secondary targets. Okay, yeah. That doesn't tell me the answer. All right, so the living bomb only has one hit point, so the living bomb is dead. But he attack three, does attack three to everything within range two. So that's everything in the room. Yeah. So, so if we start with the harrower, let's just go, oh, no, wait, let's go clockwise. That makes more sense. So if we start with the frost demon, attack of three, and he, and he does fire. Oh, it's an attack of three? It isn't just three damage? No, it's an attack of three. We're doing, so we're starting with this guy? Wind demon. I'm start, no, no, I'm starting with the frost demon, then I'll do that wind demon, and then around. Okay. Okay, so attack of three times two, it's an attack of six on the frost demon. That guy's dead. Dead. And cannot retaliate because my guy is dead. Um, okay, uh, wind demon that's in the doorway. Attack of three plus zero. They only have three points of three point. Oh, but they have shield, so one point. Sad. Okay, now the Savas Ice Storm plus one, so four points of damage, so he's dead. Oh, I should be putting in coins, I guess. Now the other wind demon plus zero. So one point. One damage. And then the harrower plus two. So five points of damage. And wow. now my guy can officially be dead. Bye bye, living bomb. Okay. Phew. 
the the wind demon the two wind demons are gonna move and attack at range they don't need to move uh so this guy um attacks you for two minus one for one point and pull, pulls you forward one and causes uh, it except it's two points of damage because you're so poisoned. i'm because i'm poisoned so i'm discarding a card okay the other guy attacks you also minus one so two points of damage i'm discarding another card he pulls you onto the loot, so you get a loot. That's cool. <laughs> um, no, I don't get a loot because I have to end my turn there. You're right. You're right. I was just thinking that. I'm now out of range to get the thing. <laughs> oh, no. Do they still pull me even if I discarded? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's part of the attack. Do you mitigate the damage or do you mitigate the attack? I, that's a good question. I thought it was that you mitigated the whole attack, like you ducked. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just the damage. What page is that on again? I don't know. <laughs> Character damage. Whenever any damage is dealt to a character, the player has two options. Choose one card to lose. To negate the damage, any additional effects of the attack are still applied. Page 20. Ding, ding, ding. ding. That's sucky. One, two, three, four. You can only move. Three or four, I mean. Yeah. You might survive. <laughs> I mean, at least you'll get on the other side of them. Yeah, but then they have move three and attack three. They're about to just demolish me. Oh, you're right. <laughs> um, well, let's see what I do here. I thought you were going to win, so... <laughs> Just totally. <laughs> I thought I was gonna win too. <laughs> Stupid thingies. Hmm. Well, this is lame. So I'm going to move two spaces and shield myself up for an XP, and that's it. OK. Is it my turn now? No, Harrow, we're first. Harrow is going to move three, I guess move one towards you. attack you for zero or attack you for one. Reason. one all right i'm going to take that one so that i can have another turn now it's your turn okay you know what i'm i'm doing it so i'm going to go one two three, four, because I have it and jump. And then I'm summoning my two shadow wolves <coughs> again to take hits for me. Yeah, they'll, they'll protect you. Right, and then I have to do a short rest though, so. So we're gonna win. So long as you go before them next turn. Which is a big is a big if. 
Um, and then circle four. And that is my turn. Okay. I'm this golem uh, attacks this wolf uh, for two damage. And this golem attacks this wolf for nothing. He whiffs. Okay, so I didn't actually even lose either of my wolves. Which one got hit for two? The one standing next to the treasure. Okay. Cool. I didn't lose any wolves. Now we're going to win. Now we're going to win. Oh, yeah, I can go first. Yes, I'm going to do this. I need to do something so that I get some experience points. Uh, I've got 18. I have 13. Okay. You first. All right. I am moving on to the treasure. Yay. And then I, oh wait, hold on. First, my wolves are doing stuff. So first, the wolf that's got only one health is going to hit this stone golem, I guess, the one that both of them are next to. Okay. For two points. Times two for four points. He has a shield of two. They have pierce of two. Oh, okay. Four points. Four points. And then my other wolf is going to hit the same guy for two points. Plus one for three points. One, two, three. And then I move on to the treasure. And then um, my wolf that's right next to me is um, going to uh, hit again for two, minus one. So for one point, same guy. So now he's down to one health. Okay. And that is my final turn. All right. On my turn. <laughs> I'm going to bless everyone <laughs> around me and get an XP for that. <laughs> and I'm going to move, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Do they, do all they, do they all get to move too? They do, right? So yeah, I need to finish up the round. I need to live. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think you need to live as long as I live. We're okay. Well, but you still get, Take your stuff as long as we're successful. One of us needs to live. I mean. Yeah. Okay. And I still have wolves. Right. Um, well, I mean, I guess I'll just play it safe. One, two, three. I'll go behind this pillar here. And then right, right. something to appear and um, um, okay. you know, that. <laughs> but if I die, you now have to make it much further down the hallway. Wait, but I thought, oh, it's at the end of the turn that you the get the, the turn. turn. Oh, wait, no, because I loot it, don't yeah. I? I think we won so long as one of us lives at the end of our oh, one. Okay. I looted it then. Dun, da, 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 it's looted. I forgot it happens at the end of my turn and not at the end of the round. Okay, well, let's see if they kill you, I guess. The wind demons um, each move three. They, okay, their range is three. So one, two, three. Uh, it would be in range. One, two, three. Oh, wait, they're going to attack the the, uh, the wolves, right? Mm -hmm. move one space and attacks this wolf. Um, at plus zero, so two points to this wolf here. Okay, he is still okay. And get he gets pulled into the doorway. Uh, okay. And then 
this other wind demon moves forward one, attacks the same wolf. Okay. Minus one, one point. He's dead. Good job, wolf. Um, cause the wind thing to appear. Um, the harrower moves two into the doorway and does nothing. The stone golems, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, this guy attacks the wolf for five damage times two. <laughs> wolf is super dead. And then he commits suicide. The stone golem. <laughs> okay. The other stone golem attacks you for five at range three and gets a plus one. So it hits you for six. He did not because I had one more card to discard. Okay, and then he takes two damage. And then that's the end of the game. We just won. We won! <laughs> <laughs> that was a hot mess of an end. <laughs> You're, you're like, you have no cards and you have one hit point, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, two hit points. I have two hit points. And <laughs> I have two discarded cards, so I wouldn't have had another turn anyway. Woo. Let's read the ending. You rush forward and take hold of the sigil of strength lying on a pedestal in the inner chamber. Immediately, an overwhelming power surges through you, and all of your foes disappear as quickly as they had appeared. I wonder if they, if we didn't need to play out the end of the round. Maybe. I, guess. <laughs> I don't know. We made it anyway. You feel a great strength welling up inside you. For an instant, your vision goes dark, and you see images of a strange runic alphabet. The power dissipates, and your vision returns. You quickly write down the symbols that you saw, though you do not know their meaning. There's a whole bunch of runes. And our reward is 20 experience points each. Yay. Plus six for the scenario, plus whatever we got, right? Yep. Yeah, six for the scenario. And that's not enough to level up for me. That is more than enough to level up for me, including the 20 points. Or actually, even without the 20 points, I think. And I get two whole gold. Me too. Should we, should we translate the, these runes? So, do we have the... How do we know if we have this? I mean, it was just free. It was just free floating in our box. Yeah, I think I think we must have it. Okay. Yeah. Um. Do you have a uh, pencil or something like that? I do. Okay, I'll read it out to you. And you write down. Okay, hold on. Let me actually get. Should I just write it in the book? I don't or know. should I write? It the paper first. I'm gonna I'm gonna write it in the book because you've been doing it that way I've been like checking things off and stuff like that okay um, I'm ready. Well, okay I don't know maybe it's faster if you just did it on, but I can read it to you uh, s uh, e It might be faster to do it. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. M? A. S E A so far. S E A. Okay. R. Uh huh. The one that looks Is like that a. C H? Hmm? Is that C H? It is a C. Uh, it is an H. That's probably the, right? Uh, let's see. No, the next one ends in an R. Oh, you're right. Um, F-O-R. Okay. 
And then the next one I think is at the yeah, it's T H uh, E, and then we've got um, R I. And that's the S E. The E. Mm -hmm. The rise is that right? Yep. And then we've got O F. Mm -hmm. We've got um. Another the. Right the ooh that's a weird one pi, D. E. Uh, C. O, D, um, E, R, yeah, and then R, R, I. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the last two are. The weird Decoder. N. And then the J looking thing is a G. Sing? Ring. Ring. Oh, ring. Okay. Then the next sentence, uh, that thing's a L. Uh, o, O. And K. Look. Okay. Um, T. O. Look to the um, E. N D and then O F. Um, the Y is a W. The sideways Y is a W. Okay. O uh, R D. The two slashes are ones. One one. Okay. Um, and then we've got uh, O, um, N, uh, L, I, N, E, and then that triangle is a three. Search for the rise of the decoder ring. Look to the end of word 11 on line three. Word 11 on line three of what? The rise of the decoder ring, I guess. Rise of the decoder ring. Is that one of the names of the, one of the, um... I don't think that's one of the names for one of the things. Wait, so it's search for the rise of the decoder ring? That's what it's, that's, I think. And then look, what? Look to the end of word 11 on line three. It might be line in this book. Well, that's what I was wondering if it was, but what, what does decoder ring, the decoder ring part mean? I don't know. Mm. Oh, I, by the way, I also got my, um, I also got my check mark. Oh yeah, me too. What was yours? Be the first to kill a monster during the scenario. That's why I sent my wolves in so fast because you were about to kill that guy and I was like, no, <laughs> wolves go. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was open the first door. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that was always easy for you. Yeah, because I'm always. Rise of the decoder ring. Let me see there's if no, I. See. Like, there's no scenario called like decoder ring or anything like that, right? That would be. I I just looked and there isn't. Um. Okay. And there's nothing with rise in the name either. Search for the rise of the decoder ring. Look to the end of word 11 on line three. I mean, the second half is obvious, is obvious. 
The question is cert what certain. Yeah, we didn't know where to look yeah. for line 11. Or word 11. Mm hmm. Oh, unless it's like one of the scenarios that like you have to find. It might not. Sh no, never mind. It lets me unlock them. It seems like a. Um, I mean, just the just the item decoder ring seems fourth wall breaky to me. Yeah, it does. I wonder if it's a scenario that we haven't found that's like a secret scenario. Maybe. Or is it, is there actually a decoder ring item? There's not right now, I don't think. I don't know. We're probably like way overthinking this. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you, thingy. Yeah, I don't see a ring of decoding. Yeah, there's a ring of skulls still, but no, no ring of decoding. Hmm. Maybe it will become clear later. Maybe, we'll just hold on to it, I guess. Yeah, because otherwise I'm just not sure. We could look up spoilers. That's let's see if, uh, let's see if a map helps us. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's something on the map. Oh, yeah. Bizarre. Was there one of the items or something like uh, physical items in the box, a decoder ring? I don't think so. Maybe one of the unlocked envelopes has a decoder ring in it. Maybe. We still have... We haven't opened envelope A yet. We opened envelope B, but not A. Okay. We opened envelope X a million years ago. We need to gain ancient technology global achievements to open envelope A. So maybe it's something in envelope A. Maybe. Have we done all the side stuff that we could? Like, I don't we, think so. Let me, out. Let me look at the scenario we have. So Was the scenario. Go ahead, Flip. Was X the one? That was just like, open this when you feel like you're ready? Yes, when you feel like you deserve it, is what it said. Right, and that was an extra scenario, right? Yes. And have we done it? No, I don't think we have. Do we feel like we're ready? <laughs> um, I think it's like in the middle of the ocean. Um, here's what we have available. Decaying crypt, vibrant grotto, plane of elemental power, deep ruins, ruinous rift, gloomhaven battlements A and B, slave pens, nightmare peak, the void, magma pit, temple of the eclipse, and shadows within. That's what we have available right now. That we haven't done? That we haven't done. Some of those are like way back from the beginning, like the uh, decaying crypt and vibrant grotto are from like day two of this gigantic campaign. And then Gloomhaven Battlements, I don't think we're able to do. It's just unlocked. Oh, right. Think, 
We had to do like some other stuff before we could do those. Yeah, we needed to do a demon's errand to complete those. Um, All right. Yeah. Can you list those off again? I'm going to write that down. <laughs> how, about, how about I just tell you the numbers? That's probably easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have six, seven, 10, 23, 27, 35, 36, 38, 46, 51, 63, 81, and 83. And a bunch of these might be locked if we haven't unlocked an achievement or something. Yes, so, so some of them definitely we are missing achievements to do, but some of them we could do. And some of them are backtracking too, so. Some of these, I feel like they should have been locked after we chose a certain path. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, they didn't lock unless we did something that then makes them not available anymore. There's no, only, let me see. They should, have, they, should have become, they should have become locked again. Like well, after, there's block. Like, like, for example, we killed Jexera, right? After yeah. killing her, there should have been instructions that said you can no longer do these missions or something like that, you know? Yeah, and one of them is the diamond find. That one that one is actually blocked. But I don't think those other ones are blocked. Okay. But this I one like, the reward for this one is like, you know, go kill Jexera. <laughs> really? Yeah. Does it have um, requirements? There are no requirements, and it unlocks the Gloomhaven warehouse, which is which we've already done because we encountered Jexera there and her two guards. Oh well, that's just because we unlocked it in one place doesn't mean we can't re-unlock it. There's um, fifteen. We already said no to the scenario we just did, and then unlocked it later. So Do we have the party achievement, dark bounty. Oh, party achievement, you said. Um, our party achievements, we do not have dark bounty. Okay, if we did the decaying crypt, we would get dark bounty as one of our achievements. What does that let us do, though? I have no idea. <laughs> That's what I just said we needed. No, that was the demon's errand. Um... And then you said seven, which is Vibrant Grotto. It requires Power of Enhancement, which we have, and the Merchant Flees as a global, which... I think we have that one. If Sarah was the merchant, I believe, right? Yes, I think... No, wait, hold on. We do. We have the Merchant Flees. Yep, that was just Sarah. Okay, that one would unlock Necromancer Sanctum, which is 20 which we may or may not have done already. Uh, Necromancer Sanctum, I think we might have done already. Yeah, I think so too. Number 20. Uh, hold on, let me look. Yeah, we're done with that one. Okay, so it's not those guys. 23, Deep Ruins, Occupy All Pressure Plates. Oh! The Deep Ruins 
You know what? They should have like, they should tell you like what led to here, you know, to remind you. Yeah, legit. But the deep ruins would give us the global achievement in ancient technology. That's probably one we want to do then, huh? Number 23. And then 27. Ruinous Rift. It requires artifact lost and Stonebreaker's sensor. We have Stonebreaker's sensor, I think. My attack modifier deck is getting quite strong. Mm. Do we have artifact lost? We have, is that a global achievement? The global, yeah. We have, no, we don't have artifact lost. We have artifact recovered and artifact cleansed. Okay. So this one we probably just can't do this campaign because we recovered it. Well, there's two artifact recovered. Okay, then the battlement is demon's errand. So we chose not to help the demon. Demon, if there were, I don't know. It's probably the evil path, right? Probably, but we need demon's errand if we're gonna go on the battlements. Right, but that's probably some like, you know, go kill, yeah, kill the captain of the guard. We're not doing that. <laughs> Then I guess we're not gonna go on the battlements. We, I'm okay with that. We tried to do slave pens, but failed. That's the escort quest. Yeah, I think that one we have to do down down the line because that's like to move forward in the narrative, you know. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that one eventually. I have I have better movement now than I did before, so maybe. Then mm -hmm. six is Nightmare Peak. We have to. Yeah, that oh, that's the one we were going to go on. That's our next thing in the quest line that yeah. we're doing. That's the that's the one that we uh, we were uh, halfway up the mountain for. Right. Then fifty one. Is the void. It requires end of corruption. Oh, we have to uh, go to those three places and end the corruption in those three places or whatever. Yeah, and we're we've done two of three, I think. Okay. I'm not sure. I think we might be part way. I don't remember. Okay, the three. Really me? Magma pit. I don't remember doing this one. Oh, this might be one of the like optional ones we unlocked. We just haven't visited, right? Magma pit. Yeah, I think that was it. That was like a, that might have been one of the extra ones. Like a card or something. It's literally yeah. just like, I think we actually may have tried it. I don't remember. All these lava. Yeah, we, I believe we tried this and died. <laughs> good on us. We're so maybe, good at this. Now. Now. We may be strong enough now. And then 81, Temple of the Eclipse. Oh, we tried to just died on. Yeah. The other day. This is the one that we did during the Nasaga conference. Yes, and failed miserably. Right. But maybe we're stronger now. We can try it again. We could. 
Then 83. 83 must be the. I don't know. Uh, I think the, the extra one we got was like 67 or something, though. Yeah, that was the Magma Pit one. Okay. Uh, 83, Shadows Within. Requirements, bad business as a party achievement. That's the one we just got. Oh. About finding the girl. About what? About finding the girl, remember, from our city, our city event. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This one has a guest designer. Oh, cool. Tim and Tim DeSmith. Maybe they're Kickstarter backers. Oh, maybe. Okay. Do we want to like, move forward with the cleansing stuff? Mm -hmm. Or start doing side quests? Or go back and try to get that guy to not die the second time. I think we should try to do this ancient technology one. Yeah, the ancient technology, there's, um, if we have to get like five of them and then we can open another envelope. Five of them? Yeah, something insane like five of them. Okay. Let me double check, but I think it's five. Yeah. Gain five ancient technology global achievements, open envelope A. We haven't been seeing that at all though, right? We don't have any. Yeah, we don't have any. Are we still recording? Yeah, we are. I <laughs> Thanks for watching.